Oh, had something. Did I get one? I think I got one, guys. I think I got one. I think he was, yeah. Oh, I got one, definitely. Got one. And he's a big one. He's pulling drag. <laughs> Fish on. October and fall is absolutely a fantastic time to go fishing here in Florida. The temperature falls, the weather is fantastic, and the fish are biting. So let's not waste any time. Let's get out there and see what we can catch. I thought I'd try something that I don't normally try. Uh, one is this bait here. It's a Morning Glory DOA Cal 441. I've got it rigged on a, a weedless worm hook. It's got a spring in it that you screw the bait onto and then you can just hook the back. So that's this. Um, and I'm trying these new hooks out. They've been working great thus far. I'm using this Morning Glory, believe it or not, on my main line, at least initially. Uh, normally I would shoot fish my Figgy Chicks paddle tail. And on my secondary line, I've got a different type of weedless hook. This one doesn't have the spring in it, it's just the, you know, it's got that hook shape on it. But on this one, I'm fishing a down south lure. So this is the replacement, it's the same color pattern, if you will, of the Figgy Chicks bait but it's a down south lure. Both of the lures, I love uh, chartreuse tails, so that's what I'm gonna be fishing today. But two weedless hooks, not normal for me, but it's gonna work. Oh, had a bite, guys. Got one, got one, all right. Fish on. Oh, he let it go. Oh, he let it go. Oh, he let it go. Well, we had a fish on. Thought I had him hooked, he definitely took it. Yeah, bait set up to pop that hook, so. He was just trying it out. But I guess that proves that the conditions are, you know, right in this channel where the, you can tell the current's coming. There's going to be a fish or two in this area. Got one, guys. Got one. I got him that time. I let him take it, and I made sure I set the hook with my thumb. All right, fish on. Fish on, fish on. <laughs> Let's go. Man, I had to let him take that bait. I don't know what this is. It's probably a sea trout or something. Ah. He hasn't gone on a run, but he's right here. Oh, look at that guy. He's a sea trout. Yeah. Yeah, we got him. I had to let him take it though. He was nibbling at it, Mr. Sea Trout. Here you go. Okay. <coughs> well, we didn't get skunked. Haven't been skunked in a while. This actually looks like a small fish, but it could be a keeper. We'll see. Let's see what we got here. A nice little sea trout. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look, he, <laughs> I've never seen a sea trout. He's not really hooked. <laughs> he was clamped onto the line of the bait. He didn't fray it, which I'm happy about. But the hook was in the side of his mouth. The line was through his mouth and the hook was in the side of it. So let's get him up here on the board and 
Let's see what we got here in terms of a size. He's a small guy. Now that I got him out of the net, he looks small. He's going to be under. Undersize. Okay, this sea trout is 14. Oh, 14 and a quarter. 14 and a quarter inch trout. But really like the fact that we got him today because he's it's been a hard day of fishing and we finally caught him so let's see if we can let you go ready guy there you go there you go a couple of kicks there 14 and a half inch sea trout or 14 and a quarter inch sea trout <laughs> just like any fisherman the fish grow i guess when they're on the boat 14 and a quarter inch sea trout released. There are fish in the marsh. Let's go find another one. current's more direct toward us here and I like pulling back with the current so I'm gonna kind of squeeze closer to the island and fish the right side here oh had something did I get one I think I got one guys I think I got one I think he was yeah oh I got one definitely got one and he's a big one He's pulling drag. <laughs> Fish on! <laughs> Fish on! Got one, guys. He was coming at me. He, he bit it. Now, this guy might be... It's either a red or a flounder because he is just staying down. Staying down. He is pulling drag. I don't want to play too much with him. He's close to the boat here, but he's still staying down. My guess is it might be a flounder. Mm. Oh yeah, it's a flounder. Big old flatty. Big flatty. Look at that. Figured it out. Woof ha <laughs> Fish on. All right, now I got to dry off. But that is a big old fat flounder. Huh. As soon as you catch a flounder, he suctions himself to the bottom. Uh, and if you don't set the hook right, you could think you're not, you, you don't have a fish. And that's what he tried to do, but I outplayed him that time. All right, let's get the lens is all cleaned off including my glasses which are all fogged up and let's deal with this flounder there we go deal with him all right Whew. well guys that's why we came out here today he was sitting off in the current and just nailed him he, he doesn't even know he's caught yet he's sitting in the net and he, he doesn't realize yet that he's caught. He thinks he's not caught. Of course, he's thinking to himself, where's all the water? But I got him good. And he is a big arch back flounder. Now these, you never want to lip a flounder. They've got some razor sharp. So he's figuring it out now. He's figuring it out. 
let's pull him make him open this mouth he, oh this is a good flounder yeah he's not he wasn't going anywhere he is absolutely on the hook boy he's got some teeth on him got some teeth on him and he won't open his mouth come on dude I'm gonna keep this net on you till you open your mouth. Okay, got the fish grips on him. It's kind of a hard thing to do. I'm gonna keep him on the hook for a minute, but take a look at this doormat, guys. And I don't wanna hang him out too long, but take a look at this doormat. That is, he, he is heavy. He's a fat flounder. Did he spit the hook? He finally spit the hook, finally spit it. That's why you gotta be careful with these flounder. They are intelligent. So I'm still gonna put him on the board. I'll let you know his size and we're taking this guy home. So this look at, the, I wish I could show you the mouth on him. As soon as I get this board out, maybe I will. Okay, he is so fat. Ooh, and heavy oh yeah 20 20 and a half inch flounder 20 and a half inch and just heavy heavy all right we're gonna get this guy set up put him on ice and uh, keep fishing that that bank that corner over there on the island so where there's one flounder there might be others so this island right here, this is where we caught that flounder, kind of off to the left-hand side of it, kind of where we are right in this area, um, but more close to the bank. And he came out maybe five feet, 10 feet off that bank uh, and nailed, the, nailed our bait. So where there's one flounder, there are others, but it's really important uh, that how I caught that flounder, uh, he took the bait, but he didn't really yank on it at first. He nibbled it and I felt like it was a flounder. Now how I knew that is because my bait had hit the bottom and then bounced up. And so flounder tend to wait till the bait is down low on the bottom and then it bounces back up and the flounder uh, go after it at that point. So, so that's what I did. I looked for, bounce the bait on the bottom and then uh, as soon as I picked it up, he hit it and as soon as I felt the tug, I set the hook and then it was suction cup to the bottom and flat. They do not fight initially. They wait to see if you know that you, they, they're on the line. And at some point they spit the hook. But if you know and you set the hook and you're reeling him in and you keep that tight line and you feel like he's not coming up, he's not coming up, then it's a flounder or a big redfish. And uh, you go after him at that point. So I'm about to cast again using this same uh, jig head that I was using before and our confidence bait. It is a Figgy Chicks DOA cow. It looks good. He has not uh, chewed into it too much. Nope. Looks good. The jig head looks good. It's ready to go again. No phrase on the line, so we'll get her back in the water.
<laughs> well, obviously we're on our way back in. Got a nice 20 and a half inch flounder in the box on ice and uh, released a 14 and a half or 14 and a quarter inch sea trout today. Two fish, usually we get a few more, but hey, we're enjoying 80 something degree weather at the beginning of November. So no complaints here. As always, thank you very much for subscribing. Click on that subscribe button, hit the notification bell to the right of it. Also, give me a thumbs up on this video and put your comments down below. Love to hear feedback from you on what you like, what you don't like, what you think I can improve on, or any suggestions you have. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time on Kayak Fishing Addict on YouTube.